What's up? Put a touch on some bases. Um, mainly want to talk about what happened in Chicago with the four teenagers who kidnapped the uh, special needs guy, I tortured him for I don't know, maybe half an hour to whatever. Uh, that was just pure stupidity. I mean, the shit that people do, you know, and. What's so sad about it is, is people will see this, they'll see this action, and they'll mistake it, and they'll have them representing, you know, a whole entire race, or a whole entire teenage uh, genre, you know. Those four individuals chose to do something, and they're going to be locked up, and as they should, um, and... I understand they were, you know, they were yelling, you know, fuck Trump and fuck white people, whatever. But that looks bad on so many levels. And I see nothing good coming out of that. Even if they are locked up, I think there's going to be somebody else who's going to be upset. Some white guy, maybe, uh, who will retaliate because of what has been done. Um... To me, it was sickening, you know, to see that. It wasn't funny. There was nothing funny about it. Uh, they posted it live on Facebook. And I guess they got a kick out of it. I could see why anybody else would get a kick out of it. It wasn't funny. It served no purpose. Uh, like I said, the guy was special needs. And even if he wasn't, why, why for what? Why, why are we doing this right now? 2017, why are we resorting to such low actions, you know what I mean? Um, it makes no sense. They wanna do better? Pick up a book, research and learn something. Research and learn something, it's that simple. Ride right around listening to Chief Keef and, and being mad and taking anger out and doing stupid shit, jeopardizing the people around you, the innocent people around you who don't feel like you and who uh, having done stupid shit like that, you put a lot of people in a dangerous situation. And you might think not necessarily, but we don't know the next time something's going to be retaliated, be retaliated against somebody. And that's the truth. Stupid people are stupid people. Doesn't matter if you're white, black, or fat, or gay, or whatever, woman or man. Stupid people are stupid fucking people. And that's just what it is. You got idiots like Soldier Boy running around, and he's running around, running in his mouth. He wants to fight Chris Brown. You know, look at the kids who look up to this guy. I never liked Soldier Boy. And yeah, I would, I would love to see him get his ass moved by anybody. You know, but it's 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 a mass it's a massive influential uh, attack being carried out against our younger, impoverished people. They see these people and they want to be like these people. They ain't learning shit. They're being distracted from the truth and it's being done on purpose and as long as they're listening to this empty ass fucking poison, they won't ever see the purpose. Even if they're holding fucking $10,000 in there. Yeah, go get a blunt, blood. They'll go be get broke, a blunt. they'll be dead or they'll be locked up. In a matter of fucking time. Yeah, man. Nah, young hate. Hey, nothing to show. Nigga, I'm Why? Because of a term called hood rich, right? We have no assets. We don't know how to build. Soldier Boy is worth millions, millions of dollars. And still got this messed up mentality. I mean, when do we ever become like men of what we're doing here? Huh? We. Messed up mentality. Soldier boy. I don't know how old he is, but he's got millions of dollars. There's nothing else to do, but he wants to live this role as a gangster. That's his life. He's so thug with it. Soldier boy, watch me go. Ooh. Soldier boy. Blah. Garbage ass. Fucked up hip hop. Millions of dollars. And all of a sudden, now he wants to gangbang. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I just I just want to address that. There's no room for hate for anybody. Yeah, I know my history. 
I love to call myself a Black Panther. I do. I'm for Black Power, most definitely. I'm for empowering my people uh, because I know what we've been through. I know what you know. I'm going through, and I know the challenges that were placed in front of us, and the history that's been done way before slavery and after slavery or whatever. But still, to this day, I can't look you in the face and tell you that I hate white people. I don't think it's cool, and I think it should be taught because I think a lot of black people get the uh, we get we get the the, the notion that. You know, all white people are bad and all white people felt this way. But if you go back and you look at some of this footage, even with Malcolm X or whatever, you'll see where white people were marching for the rights of, you know, doing the right shit. You know what I'm saying? So you can't just say that you hate all white people. You have to treat everybody on an individual basis. You dig what I'm saying? Because, you know, even you can sit there and preach in your, in your face that uh, black power this, black power that, but it's people, it's white people who've been down and who has done more for the black power movement than you and me. That's the truth. But we don't learn about it. They should teach this in school, you know, rather than these, these corrupt ass fucking politicians and, and uh, Davy Boy Crockett, Christopher Columbus shit. You know what I'm saying? We need to learn. The truth about America, for one, we need to learn the truth about our economy, and we need to learn the truth about people, period. Because we all have stereotypes, we all think that people live a certain way and think a certain way, and it's not good. So, I think people need to, you know, I would love to say people start over and, and, and think for themselves, but I know it's never going to happen. Not as long as we got the TV and the radio telling us we could do this and fuck somebody else's bitch or whatever. As long as you believe that, that's what you're going to believe. We all work to build our ego. And that's it. So, um, I'm going to keep this one short. Kind of going to run and do some errands real fast. But I just want to say... Uh, do my mall. Okay. I just want to say, keep your head up, stay uh, positive, and stay focused on yourself. Bullshit will always be around, and what was done yesterday was not right. It's not cool at all. Uh, if you think it's funny, then you're the problem. What are you, why are you black? It doesn't matter. Any act like that should not be carried upon anybody, and uh, it's not cool, and... I just hate to see shit like that happen. Peace.